All right, so here we are. Uh, we just got done last weekend taking our raised beds and, and kind of expanding them into just a, a larger in-ground garden. The raised beds were just draining too quick and hard to keep moist uh, enough to grow what we wanted to grow. So we decided to do this. We broke it down. I got some landscape timbers and framed it all out and basically just tilled the ground up and took all the dirt from the raised beds and just spread it out into the new soil. So now we got about three or four times the growing space we did. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start off by building a little trellis back along the fence and that'll be where we're going to plant our cucumbers and beans and uh, things like that. We can grow vertically and kind of save some space. Um, so we'll get started. All right, so we got back from tractor supply. I got a couple little things to get us started with our project. Uh, what you're going to need are, and the way I'm doing it, I'm going to do a 16 foot section. So I'm going to do three posts, three eight foot posts, a box of staples, some string line, and a couple little stakes, and two hog panels, uh, 50 inches by eight foot. They have a 16 footer but I didn't have no way to haul it in my truck so we're going to do the two eight foots and we'll, we'll do three posts instead of two. Uh, tools, tools all you'll really need for this project is a hammer, a level, and a post hole digger. And We'll get started. Okay so the next step uh, basically what I did was I just took my stakes and I measured, uh, you just want to measure off you know from the end of the bed how far you want your uh, trellis to be and in my case I wanted it a foot off it'll give me just enough room to I can reach through the trellis and, and still get what I need on the other side but yet it's far enough back where I still can make use of the whole bed uh, for planting other vegetables so so basically you just go on one side you you know measure your foot out uh, drive in your stake pull your string line across do the same on the other side and now I have a, a string that's right where I want it and I know where I want to put my posts and also you can go ahead and save these for later too when you're planting your rows. Uh, if you like nice straight even rows you can put this across and you know use this string line to to plant your rows of whatever crops you're going to plant. So all right we got that done now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start uh, measuring out where I want my posts and start digging the holes for those. All right so we got our first we got our middle stake in. What we did basically you just want to go ahead and measure your entire bed and take that measurement and divide it by two and measure off one of your stakes that way you get your center point for your center post so we got the center point right there my bed is 28 uh, it's actually 28 and a half inches or 28 foot and eight in, uh, half inch so we split that by two uh, 14 and a quarter uh, don't have to be perfect but this way I don't know if you can see it or not this way that stake is right in the middle and then I can measure off of that one for my two ends and then the trellis will be right in the middle of the bed. It just it just looks nicer that way, I think. All right, I'm finished setting my first post. Uh, dug down, set it two and a half inches, uh, two and a half feet deep. And that'll give me plenty up top and still be enough in the ground to kind of hold it up straight. So you just dig the hole down, get it deep as you want, put the post in, and then just slowly add a little bit of dirt and keep packing, packing. Uh, what I do is I just take an old handle, just take an old handle from an old rake and you just you just pack it down good all around the post and you just keep layering it in there and keep packing it and it'll be tight. No need to concrete it really, we still have a little bit more to go. So I only did it about halfway because I'm still going to nail, I'm going to nail my cattle fence, I'm going to nail that to it so it's going to wiggle a little bit so I'll finish packing it once I get done with that. And now that I got the middle post. Now I can go ahead and take my measurements and lay out my two end posts. Alright, so I got my middle, got one end post set, and now I have my second one dug. Uh, just a couple little tips here. I'm typically working by myself, which is not bad, it's not that hard of a job, but sometimes you could use an extra set of hands, especially like when measuring over. So kind of what I did was took my middle post and found the center of it if you can see it, found the center of it and just drove a nail on there and that way I can put my tape on there and pull out my eight foot exactly and get my post set just where I want it it's kind of hard digging I mean the digging is actually pretty easy but our soil is so sandy 
you can see it's just so sandy it's it's like as you're digging it's just filling the hole back up so once you get down a little bit lower it's not too bad you can start pulling some real dirt out there all right we're gonna go ahead and get this one slightly tamped about halfway up the hole and then i'll show you how i'm gonna hang my hog wire with just by myself all right finally got all three posts set uh, like i say i didn't tamp all the way up around just about halfway because they're probably going to move a little bit when i hammer the staples in for the hog wire so I'll try my best to keep them from moving while I'm hammering and then I'll finish plumbing and tamping the poles. They're pretty sturdy. I mean, a lot of people say put some concrete around the bottom of it, but I don't think we need to. That way if they ever do rot, it's easier to pull it out and replace one without trying to bust up all the concrete or pull the whole piece up. So we're just gonna go with this. It's plenty strong enough to hold some cucumber vines. All right, so here we go. We're gonna take the hog wire and I'll be back in just a minute and I'll show you a little trick for hanging this uh, by yourself. All right, so if you can see what I did, I want my hog wire uh, approximately a foot off the bed from the surface of the garden bed because I want the plant underneath of it. So what I did was, since you're working by yourself, just take your measurements, calculate how high you want it and then measure the distance left. And you measure down from here and just put a nail on each post. That way you can hang it on there until you get a chance to nail it in. So it's sitting where I want it. I can stand back and look, make sure it's kind of where I want. Actually, I might raise it a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to raise it a little bit, but I'm going to use the same method. I'll just move it up one rung. All right, here's the final product. It's hard to see, I know, with the sun. We got three posts, just about a foot off of the fence, and that'll allow me to plant a few cucumber plants instead of just one, being how they take up so much space to be grown vertically. I can actually plant them closer together, and if one dies, I'll still at least have another plant. So I'll probably do two regular cucumbers and maybe two Asian cucumbers. And then that's it for now.